to make a video of what it's like owning a Prevost and, and the fears you have and the concerns and all the stuff you remember, I've, I haven't even driven this thing yet. And I'm leaving today, so I might put the camera up and, Please and, do. and, and honestly tell you how I feel, how it feels. Oh. took ownership of this coach. First Prevo I've ever owned and for me it's 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 amazing. I'm, 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 everything's very surreal still for me. Yeah I can't even imagine. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Andrew Steele here. Today I'm here with my buddy Rob. Hello. Rob just made a, a really big purchase. You want to tell everybody what uh, what you just bought here? Well, I bought a 2003 Liberty Coach, the Elegant Lady. Uh, Andrew, uh, I think it was a week ago, he posted a video on this from uh, Tom and Denise. And I saw it and uh, it just, I had it happen. <laughs> I, saw, I was up in uh, Venture Motorcycle riding out in De uh, Death Valley and I saw this video and I came down here I knew it wasn't gonna last and uh, met with Tom and uh, took ownership of this coach first Prevo I've ever owned and, and, and I'm pretty blown away this thing is in really good shape yeah so did you did you find the RV through the YouTube video then was that yeah through yours thanks a lot hey yeah very cool no this is this <laughs> no, is exciting it's, it's... for you and you got a, a beautiful Liberty coach now uh, have you owned RVs before I have. Uh, I've got an older gas coach. I actually just bought four months ago. It's a 36 foot co coach, but it's not. It's not this, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I was also in the RV business in 2008 with the Silverleaf Electronics, so I'm familiar with these coaches. But I never thought I'd be on this end of it, you know. So here we are. It's 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 for me. It's 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 amazing. I'm, 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 everything's very surreal still for me. Yeah, I can't even imagine. So what? What caused you to choose a Prevo Liberty Coach? I just know the history of Prevo, you know, being in the industry before, um, you know, it was either Prevo or Newell, you know, that was the two big dreams of mine for 15, 20 years. And, and just the style and, and the detail, and I mean, this thing is a piece of art. They, uh, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, and the Liberty Coach, is there a reason why you chose this particular Liberty Coach? Or what made you choose this particular coach? I, I like the color scheme. I love the paint job. It's clean. It's neutral. It's not dramatic. It's warm. Uh, the layout is perfect for my lifestyle. It's just, uh, uh, it's, it's, Tom took really good care of it. He babies this thing like crazy. I think owning a Prevost Elegant Lady is like owning a work of art. From when you saw the YouTube video until you bought the coach, how, 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 how much time passed? Uh, two days. Wow. Um, yeah, I was out riding my motorcycle out in the flats of Death Valley and I went back to my uh, Airbnb and I saw the video. I went, oh God, here we go. You know, and I talked to my partner, a business friend. She said, go look at it. I was like, oh God, you know. And so I, I beelined it from Death Valley that day. Headwinds a whole, it was exhausting getting here. I met with the owners um, that afternoon and we started, you know, he told me he had other people interested. I said, no, no, we're buying it. <laughs> it's like, it's just a done deal, you know. No question about it. First of all, the, 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 the value of this coach has already been depreciated. Um, and Tom kept it up there, you know, just yeah. maintained the, the, the previous owners, they really took care of this coach. I can attest for that too. I've, I've known this coach and it's, it's the real deal. You know, he really was, like you said, an open checkbook, like always wanted everything yeah. perfect. So, well, and I, and your credibility too, you know, I can tell you, you're going to tell the truth, you know, so, so you definitely that. carry that credibility. I was looking, so I was literally like looking for, have you found any wood? I mean, the wood, is it in as good a condition as I represent it? Yeah, or? yeah, it's definitely in good condition. I mean, there's a couple of little things that maybe even Tom okay. didn't know that just... Yeah, no, you know, you've got a good eye for detail, you know, yeah. Easy little stuff, but no, it, it, it was uh, better than I thought. The, the thing I want to bring yeah. up, uh, it's just, it's fascinating because uh, it was hard to pull the trigger, you know, at first. How do you justify, you know, unless you have... 20 plus million liquidity, you know, getting something like this. And it just didn't seem practical. But the day we actually purchased it was Monday when the, the stock market was tanking. 
okay? And we just talked to our broker, we were liquidating stocks, and uh, uh, I, I don't even know how much money we would have lost in the process of buying this. So this is truly an asset because yeah. the value has been depreciated, taken care of, and I didn't lose it in stocks. Here it is. What Talk about perfect timing. Today is uh, Thursday, March 12th, I believe. Yeah, March 12th. The market, the last two days, the market's gone. I mean, it was 29. What was it when you sold your stocks? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. even know. I think the Dow was like close to 29,000 not very long ago, and it's at 21,500, probably one of the most historical losses yeah. in the market in history, definitely in my life. Um, and you timed that perfectly it's, so it's it all fell together it, so. it, it did <laughs> there a reason that you chose a non-slide coach now for the amount of money you spent on this coach I mean this is a pristine coach you know you you, you paid good money for it you could have gotten with a, like a production coach like a newer Tiffin or Numar with slide outs and and a newer coach what was your reason for choosing a non-slide Prevo? Um, I don't, you know, when I was in the RV business back in 2008, there was always these problems with the slide outs. I don't know what's going on with them now. I'm sure they've gotten a lot better. No, but I've, sorry, yeah. I've seen other non-slide coaches that weren't laid out like this. Uh, the layout is plenty. There's so much storage. It's ridiculous how much storage. I used the shower last night. I'm 6'2", 245 <clears throat> pounds. <laughs> and um, uh, I had plenty of room. Uh, the bathroom, plenty of room. It, it's just perfect Yeah. for what we need to do. And it's less problem with the slides and you know stuff like that. And plus we can cruise down the road and actually do things in here versus the slides or compacting it and not making it as versatile. You know more about this coach than me. Why was it a good reason for me to buy it? What are some things that you... Oh, yeah. yeah. No, right you away. Know, I want to hear your... <laughs> okay. You know. Yeah, I love it. That, I love it. He's asking me questions. So the things that I like about this coach, the non-slide right away, um, that can be... The, the slide-out seals alone can be like five grand. It can get really expensive. So I like that it's a non-slide coach. I like that it's a Liberty coach. I mean, Liberty has always been cutting edge with their design. They've been timeless. Any of you that follow my YouTube channel know I'm a huge fan of, of Liberty coaches. I mean, the videos were, I've had multiple people from Liberty on camera saying, knowing that it's gonna go to the public, saying no squeaks and rattles in a Liberty coach. Now, I wanna hear if there's squeaks and rattles or whatnot, but I, and I, don't, I don't know how that all works, but they, they're able to say that with a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that they're so confident about their product and and as far you know cutting edge as they are now, I'm sure that they were just as cutting edge back in 2003. And really, the Prevo shell is you know the the Prevo shell. This has monocoque construction. I mean, you've got a beam right there in your windshield. Of the safety aspect of this coach, uh, the safety aspect I would say is the number one selling point for me. It's got the Detroit Series 60, pre-DEF, pre-EGR. I mean, the guys that really know their stuff, this is the motor that you want. Um, and it's an elegant lady. I mean, the thing I really like, it's a Liberty coach. So if you ever wanted to put a crazy cool paint job on it, my buddy Dean Laux, yeah, right. it qualifies. I've seen his work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he's only done a few XL2s. So if you ever wanted to make this thing look like totally on a whole nother level, right it would probably appreciate in value because if you put a Dean Laux paint job on it, I mean, it's already a piece of artwork, but when you add, you know, add that aspect to it and have an artist and he's only allowed to paint Liberty coaches. So, oh wow, and, and he's, in my opinion, by far, so far ahead of every RV painter out there. Yeah. So if you ever, it has the ability that if you ever wanted to up it, it's the perfect shell, it's a Prevo chassis and you could have it painted where it would look like a brand new 2021 if uh, you want it. Yeah, know? we'll be talking to him once we get uh, production going. You know, we definitely want to do something along the lines of our documentary films. So let me tell you guys a little bit about my side of this story, about how I how I ended up making a YouTube video about this coach. The YouTube video that you ended up buying this coach. I was actually uh, driving back from California, and Tom shot me a text that. He wanted to sell his coach and asked if I'd make a YouTube video, and I was just excited. I, I hadn't even seen inside of it before. I'd always detailed the ex, uh, exterior, but I was I was excited to see it, and I, I swung by. I, I just happened to be driving, because he's about two and a half hours right. from where I live, so it'd be a long trip just to make a YouTube video. 
I mean, he was literally like three minutes off of the beaten path of where I was like, all right, I'll stop making a YouTube video. And it just kind of, and I mean, I was so excited. I'm like, this is a cool coach. And I edited it right away, put it up right away. And like, it's, it's amazing. I couldn't believe when, when Tom texted me, hey, the bus is sold. I'm like, no way, like that quickly, but it's cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, he, he, he had a few other people lined up to look at it. And that's why I was like, no, 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 we're getting it, you know. And, uh, and he showed me the text of, uh, he had a lot of people interested in it. Um, one thing I want to say uh, uh, for future sellers, um, Tom and Denise uh, went way above Call, uh, Call of Duty to, to, to teach me this coach. I mean, you know, I've bought things before, like, here's the keys, you know, good luck. And uh, 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 Tom put a lot of time, a lot of effort in training me, you know, uh, and he's still on call, you know. Uh, he, so. he even texted me this morning and he's like, hey, I let Rob know that if he has any questions, he can call me. Absolutely. I mean, that was just in our conversation this morning, so that was really cool. Well, we've developed a friendship, and there's other things yeah. we might possibly be doing with each other. So you know, that's the magic of, of living this nomadic life Absolutely. and you know, being out there, especially in uh, Captain Nemo's ship. Yeah, no, you're definitely you're <laughs> actually, doing it right. Actually, we think I think we came up with a name for it because uh, uh, it, it just all happened in one day, and so I think we're going to name it One Day. I love it, man. That is that is a great story. Now, what's your plans with the coach moving forward? And I got to say, I don't know if any of you can see in the back there, Tom actually has a YouTube channel as well and makes a lot of... Rob. Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't we're, edit that we're, out. We're, yeah, we're edit it out. Tom, <laughs> that's it, yeah. So, it. Sorry. Rob, Tom does not have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Rob has a YouTube channel. And if you see, there's a uh, camera back there with a microphone set up and uh, he's got some really cool stuff, uh, really cool adventures. I will... Um, I'll try to. I don't even know how to put this stuff. Yeah, on the bottom yeah I'll there. try to put it in the description or uh, make a picture of it so you guys can see his, his YouTube channel there. But some real cool, just <laughs> totally, uh, uh, really interesting stuff. I'm an ex corporate guy, corporate America. I also own businesses for on and off for 27 years. I've been homeless. I've made a lot of money. I've lost it. I've made a lot of money. I've lost it. I made three times. You know, and uh, after the third time, I was just done. And I actually lived up in the mountains up in Squim, Washington for a year and unplugged. And it gave me enough time to change change my programming, you know. And I would have never imagined this. And I can't even, I can't tell you what's happened in the last 10 months. It's just like, uh, it's so interesting to be able to afford this and how everything came together. Uh, you'll see on my YouTube stuff, there's a variety of different things. So our plans with the coach, um, we're gonna do, uh, uh, this coach is actually gonna become famous. I believe it, yeah, it's, I mean, it's already, uh, I think 30,000 <laughs> views just on the, uh, the the first video, but yeah, sorry, what's the plans for it? Well, the plans with this coach is, this is gonna be a production rig for uh, uh, documentary films on some very fascinating things that Kara, my partner, is involved with. We're using this and the other coach that we have and going on the road and we're finding people that are doing things that'll just blow your mind away. Uh, and also those who just said, enough is enough, I'm gonna live. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna just plan out the rest of my life. You know, I'm gonna live now. And that's what we're gonna do with this coach. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. That's that's super exciting. Really cool stuff. Like, I mean, just, you, you've got a cr really creative mind. And I'm definitely looking forward to checking out more of some of the documentaries that you make in this coach and what you use it for. And I hope that you can make some YouTube videos because I know the folks out there are going to want to know the story of this coach. And man, you're you're just a, a really cool guy. And, yeah, I, I uh, already got an amazing story. And well, I'm already been instructed by my partners is you need to make a video of what it's like owning a Prevost and and the fears you have and the concerns and all the stuff you remember. I I haven't even driven this thing yet, and I'm leaving today. Uh, so I might put the camera up and, please and, do. and, and honestly tell you how I feel, how it feels. Oh, and, please uh, do. So on behalf of everybody that's watching this video, we want you, please have that okay. GoPro mounted. Okay. Please tell your story as much as possible in your cool editing style. I think he's, if you guys think my editing is cool, his stuff is just <laughs> like pro. I can't even believe how few of you some of your videos have gotten. What's your, um, can you spell out your uh, YouTube channel for everyone if they want to jump over and subscribe? Yeah, it's founder of Corism, and that's spelled c-o-r-e-i-s-m so founder of Corism, and um you can follow uh and you can follow rob's adventures i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be keeping an eye out for this video because i'm i'm excited i when i made my first trip i was just before we turned on the camera i was just telling him about 
uh, my first trip when I went to Florida and bought my Tiff and Phaeton and just what a cool experience that was. So I'm excited for you and uh, really excited to, to see and hope that you can document as much as possible. And congratulations on becoming oh, a Liberty coach yeah, owner. That's it's pretty surreal. Yeah, I can only <laughs> imagine what a, you know, to have that goal 10 or 15 years ago or at whatever point in life where you said this would be cool and, and here you're living it today. Damn. And, uh, and the cool part about it is it, it happened when you least expected it to. Absolutely. So. It's, it, it's just, I'm still going, what, 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 what happened? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Well, Rob, you've got a great story. Thank hey. you very much for uh, sharing that with me and everybody on YouTube. I hope you all go check out his channel. He's got some, some really cool stuff over there. So Rob, thanks again. Thank you all for watching today's video. I greatly appreciate all of you and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Bye.